why, why, why? God, I, I just want to turn out every light around me. It's so frustrating. It is so, so frustrating. Here we are again. Here we are again. Madeline Soto. I'm crushed. I'm crushed. And, and why? Why, why, why? I'm A.R. Hayes. This is the Convict's Thoughts. I don't even know if I should announce myself at this point. I don't know where my thoughts are, my feelings are. I'm in chaos. Why? Why does this continuously happen? Why does it go unnoticed? Why are we, as the entire community, Missing the tell-tale signs. But why are we as individuals, if we're single, with a child? Why is that child not more important than some sort of relationship? It baffles me. It baffles me. And I know people don't want to hear or relate to my past in the penitentiary time I had to serve. But why do people in the penitentiary have to handle this problem? Why can't society, why can't the courts handle this problem? Here we are again. Another young life. 13 years old. 13 years old. With her laptop and her backpack on the way to school. Never made it. Madeline didn't make it to school. Did not make it to go with her friends to get an education. This isn't even talking about true crime anymore. This isn't even about deep diving into the affidavits and talking about cases. This is another 13-year-old young lady with her entire future in front of her. Gone. Gone. And for what? <sighs> yeah, I, I, I read the affidavit. I read the affidavit of the case, and it's graphic. It's not even something I want to bring to my channel. This man took pictures. Pictures! Of the violation of a 13-year-old beautiful young lady. Pictures. They're documented to the point that they could describe the coloration of his bodily parts and features. My dogs right now in the background are hearing me literally 
raise my voice to the point that they are wondering. Because my dogs don't see this. People don't see this. People, pe I don't do this. But why? Why is this happening? Why is nobody? I shouldn't say nobody. I, I, I have to backtrack a little bit because I get it. Many people out there combat this problem on a day-to-day -day basis. And they fight for the better. For society and for our loved ones and for our children. I get that. I get it. I fought for it too. You see, in the penitentiary, they have segregation between general population, protective custody, and now they even have sex offender yards to cater to these individuals that do these very crimes to protect them. But who protects? The children. The children. The Madeline Sotos, the Lily Peters, the Audrey Cunninghams, and so many more on a day-to-day -day basis who protects them. The penitentiary is willing to protect the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. These individuals were the ones that when my voice did get raised and my anger did come out of its shell, these are the types of people I targeted. The gang and the affiliation, it was all what it was. We had our beefs, we had our disputes. And when they got violent, they got violent. But it didn't have a meaning within me. These type of people that could commit these very crimes. This young lady thought she was on her way to school. To school. Where her friends were. Her beloved teachers were. The future of her life was to be developed. And here we are. Again. Asking the questions of why. The why. Did the mother have any clue of who she was even dating? Boyfriend, girlfriend, whoop de do. This happens far too much, ladies and gentlemen. It happens far too much. If it didn't happen as much as it does, they would not have to create sex offender penitentiary yards that houses people from the high hundreds to thousands of inmates per yard. It's not even the only yard. There's many of them. And now, because they're so overwhelmed with the amount of these 
creeps. They have to try to slide him in under the alias of a completely fabricated background onto general population yards to try to feed them in and hide them as if we as the inmates can't catch it. Do you really think we're that dumb? Do you think all of us are that dumb? Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I'll admit, I'll admit a large percent of the penitentiary is filled with idiotic, dumb individuals. I'll give you that. I will. But not all of us. Not all of us. And some of us hold the value of integrity and respect. Even though we've made mistakes in our lives, we won't stand for what has happened to Madeline Soto's of the world, Lily Peters of the world, and many more. I can't even spend the next lifetime speaking to you in regards to all of these young, beautiful lives They've been ruined by this very action. And it's always the ones closest to them. We in our minds want to think that it's an overall almost fitting to the horror movies of the world. And, and we project it's just a random person from afar that does this. Which makes it bad enough. That would make it bad enough. But it's not. It's not who it is. It's right there. It's right in front of us. The mother of Madeline Soto dated a man that was capable, willing to do this. At the end of the day, and, and this coming from a person that endured, not wanted at birth, Put in a foster home. Adopted. Kind of not wanted even after adoption. Back for traveling between adopted mom, adopted dad, adopted mom, adopted dad. Just pass them along the way. And look at what I turned out to be. I was a freaking horrible liar, criminal, thief. Whatever you wanted to name it, I turned into it. I mean, I didn't go to the worst of the worst because I didn't have the capability of doing this. I didn't live a great, honest life. It took me a minute to kind of come back to reality. It's a good wife that pulled me back to that that did live a good family, nurtured, lifestyle. I'm thankful for that because that made her the beautiful person she was. Before she even dated me, even though we had built a friendship, she would not date me until she clarified that I had to stop the criminal lifestyle. She made me prove it. Prove it before I move forward with you. I 
doesn't matter how much I love you. It matters that because of how much I love you, you live up to the man I know you are capable of being. What about Madeline's mother? How much did she vet Stephen, this new guy that was driving her daughter, Madeline, to school prior to her backpack and laptop ending up in a dumpster and her body being found in the middle of nowhere? Not at the school. She didn't make it to where she was supposed to better herself and learn. I don't know all the details, ladies and gentlemen, but, but I absolutely read the arrest of David, and I'm sick, and I'm angry, and I'm mad, and I'm, I'm boiling within. Sorry, this is a little bit graphic for many of you that see me on a calm, collected manner as I hold myself accountable to, and I'm doing just that right now. Because with everything that I just learned and what I know about Madeline Soto's case, and then I reflect over to Lily Peters' case, and I see these things constantly happening and it's sickening I can't do it I can't take this type of crime we're going to spend one minute we're going to talk about something real quick about the penitentiary when these individuals are snuck into a general population yard. It's found out quickly. It, 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 it comes very clear, very fast, and there's avenues that that information gets relayed. And let me tell you, when this hits a general population yard that I'm on, I don't care whether I'm a nobody on that yard, whether I'm a somebody on that yard, or if I spoke for that yard. It's in my hands because I want the duty. I want to put the socks over my hands. Not to protect a broken knuckle or a bloody finger or... No. That, that's not what it's all about. I mean, obviously, we protect ourselves from leaving evidence in regards to a violent act. But I don't even care if those gloves ever went on my hands to protect me from being caught. These type of people have to be stopped in their tracks. I was willing to step up to the plate every single time. I wish I could get into whatever jail this individual is in. Because he wouldn't get an early release off of these sickening crimes. I mean, obviously, considering now he's debated on to murder charges, he won't get out early. But those, the offenders, that literally get minimal time for the crimes that they commit, that devastate, devastate lives. Especially minors. I 
can't stand for it. And I hope, I hope as a society, we all come together. And I know this is a crazy, crazy video for all of you to watch because this isn't normal. And I'll get back to normal, I promise you. We have a lot to discuss in many other avenues. But this is important. I don't care how lonely you are, male or female, no relationship, not dating, busy life. If you have children, they are your number one. They are your number one. Your sex life don't matter. Your dating status don't matter. Because this is where it ends if you don't pay attention. This is where it lands. Right here. Yeah, this man's going to go to the penitentiary. And he's going to get handled in there. He'll get handled. Promise you, he's going to get handled. Whether you receive notification of that or not, he's going to get handled. That doesn't bring back Madeline Soto's life. That doesn't bring back Lily Peters' life. Audrey Cunningham. And so many more. So many more. I'm not in a position to handle these individuals wherever they may land anymore. I have to hope that the system still holds the integrity within it to handle these things that society and the court system will not. It continues to happen. Over and over and over every city, every state, across the country, across the world. Why? Why? Sometimes I even realize, like when I watch Madeline Soto's mother's interview, I realize she just don't give a damn. She does not care. It tears me apart because of my upbringing and my background. And I was never, ever, ever in a position that these young children, teenagers were in. And I can't stand it anymore. I can't see it. I can't accept it. We've got to become more vigilant. We have to care more. We have to open our eyes and our hearts to stop this. I'm A.R. Hayes. I'm glad you allowed me to come on here and share my emotion with you because I'm hurting. I'm upset. I am. And I'm going to go to bed just like each and every one of you. And my head is going to toss and turn on the pillow because I can't take it anymore.
This is Convict Thoughts. You have a great night.